Welcome to the Cardiac Sciences Program at Vancouver General Hospital. We're here to help you prepare for your heart surgery. In this video, we'll walk through what you can expect on the day of your surgery and while you're in the hospital. On the day of surgery, you'll shower and bathe again with an unscented soap, shampoo your hair, and repeat the use of the antiseptic agent following the instructions given to you by the pre-admission clinic. After you shower, wear clean, freshly laundered clothing. You'll arrive at the hospital and go to the main admitting department located by the main entrance to register. You may have a support person accompany you through to the perioperative care center. To get updated information regarding how many support people can come with you, call the hospital switchboard at 604-875-4111. Please bring these items to hospital. BC services card, care card, one government issued identification, separate from your driver's license if it is combined with your BC services card, care card, your cardiac patient booklet, enough toiletries to last you approximately five days, all of your prescription medications. With the exception of any opioid medications in their original containers, you may leave any opioid medications at home. A list of your non-prescription medications, for example, vitamins, rubber soled shoes, slippers, a clean set of clothes to wear on the day of going home, and if applicable, your eyeglasses, dentures, hearing aids, and CPAP machine if you have one. If you are having minimally invasive surgery, you will also need to bring two packs of sugar-free gum. Note, you may choose to bring a small amount of cash, no more than $20, your phone and your phone charger, but a reminder that the hospital is not responsible for lost or stolen items. We recommend that you leave valuables, including jewelry and most electronic devices at home. A reminder that VGH is a scent-free facility. Please avoid wearing any perfumed or scented personal hygiene products. From admitting, you will then go to the perioperative care center. Here, you may be asked to wash with antiseptic wipes and then change into a hospital gown. You will meet members of your healthcare team, including your surgeon and cardiac anesthesiologist. Your team will connect you to monitors and an IV will be inserted into your arm to give you sedation. From the perioperative care center, you will be taken into the operating room to prepare. This will happen about an hour before your scheduled surgery. Depending on your type of surgery, it will take between four and six hours. Once you're in the operating room, your loved ones may choose to wait at the hospital in the surgical family waiting room or another area like the cafeteria or they may wish to wait in another location. You'll be asked to provide a contact number so the surgeon can contact your loved ones once the surgery is finished. Hi, my name is Emily and I'm the patient care coordinator and one of the nurses in the cardiac surgery intensive care unit at VGH. After your surgery, you'll wake up in the cardiac surgery intensive care unit, also known as CSICU. Your cardiac anesthesiologists and critical care nurses will look after you while you are here. When you wake up, you'll have a breathing tube, IV lines, chest tubes, and a urinary tube connected to you. You may also have temporary pacemaker wires in place. Most of your medications, including pain medications, will be given through an IV until the breathing tube is removed and you are ready to start swallowing. After your surgery, you can expect to stay in hospital for about five days. Most patients in the CSICU stay for the first one to two days. It is important for you to tell the nurse how much pain you are experiencing. It's normal to have some pain lasting for a few weeks after surgery, but you should be able to comfortably move around, breathe deeply and cough. If pain is preventing you from moving and practicing your deep breathing, let your nurse know and they can give you pain medication to keep you more comfortable. We want to ensure that you're able to perform your exercises and deep breathing to assist in your healing and to prevent any complications. Hi, my name is Dr. Tiffany Chong and I'm a hospitalist on the post-operative cardiac surgery unit. We have a large team made up of doctors, a nurse practitioner, nurses, occupational therapist, physiotherapist, care management leader, dietitian, pharmacist, social worker, spiritual care, and indigenous patient navigators available to help you recover and get ready for discharge. 
When you first come to the cardiac unit from cardiac surgery ICU, you may still have some tubes or special IV lines, a heart monitor, and temporary pacemaker wires in place. These will be gradually removed over the coming days. It's important to spend most of your time out of bed, up in your chair during the day, allowing for short periods of rest and naps when you're tired. This will help prevent complications such as pneumonia, blood clots, as well the deep breathing exercises introduced later in the next video. Expect to be up in your chair for each of your meals and gradually progress your activity during your stay to three to five walks each day. You can usually start showering on the fourth day after your surgery. We know that your first shower may be challenging, so a care team member will help you with your first shower. Please speak to a member of your care team if there's anything that would make this more comfortable for you. We will do our best to accommodate you. Until your incision is well healed in approximately four to six weeks, avoid soaking in a tub, but you can shower. Use a mild soap. Antibacterial soap is not needed. Avoid spraying water directly onto your incisions, but it's okay to have water run over them. Take a clean towel, one that you haven't used, to wipe the rest of your body and pat your incisions dry. Leave the incisions open to air and do not apply any lotions, powders, or creams. You'll want to also keep your incisions out of the sun for the first year to minimize scarring. Thank you for watching. We hope this has given you a good idea of what to expect as you prepare for your surgery. Rest assured, we will take good care of you. And if you have any questions, please reach out to your care team or primary care provider. For more information, you can visit our website.